the importance of organic molecules and organic chemistry can't be overstated. It's everything we're about, right? It's all living uh, things, but then the non-living organic uh, chemistry, well, that's the fossil fuels that we combust. So, positive side of it would be that so many of the organic molecules that we talked about, like methane, ethane, propane, all of these combustibles, really help us in, uh, heat our homes, provide electricity. Those are the positive aspects. Of course, negative aspects would be that the combustion of those fossil fuels, what, that, what does that do? That causes enhanced greenhouse effect, which could lead to global warming and things like that. Those are the negative issues that you need to actually balance in the discussion. Okay, but then what else do we do with some of these molecules in organic chemistry? Well, we know that esters provide us with those types of fruit and vegetable flavorings, and we can isolate those, and we do, and we create those fruit flavors now instead of just extracting them from the fruits and vegetables. We make them in the lab because we know how to make the esters, and then we can produce all types of food products as well. What do we do with molecules of ethene? we can suck the ethene out of the ground. That's one of the things that we can take out of the ground. Ethene's a gas, and just like when we take methane out of the ground and clean it up and then, and then uh, uh, combust it, we do the same with ethene. But with ethene, we take that and we make polyethylenes, because another way of saying ethene would be ethylene. We link these together in chemical reactions and we get plastics. Plastics were discovered back in the 1930s, quite serendipitously, too, by taking these gases and making things that, that formed very hard, rigid types of, of structures. And then, of course, we mixed with the formula and made them a little softer, and we get plastic bags, or we get really rigid plastic that hardly ever breaks. Oh, it's fantastic what we can do with these molecules. And we can take chlorinated ones. And it was just... It was just absolutely a fluke that chemists at DuPont were mixing chemicals together, this one chemist, and the interface of the two chemicals when they were mixing in solution, he actually saw something form and he pulled it out. And he virtually pulled out a string from the entire solution as the interfaces came together of the two liquids, nylon. Within six months, they were taking nylon and not only making rope out of it, but finding a way to make it really uh, attractive looking on women's legs and nylons were created. No kidding. In six months, we went from the laboratory to putting them onto your legs. Go figure. By the way, if you went through the entire organic series here and you said, Chem guy, where's the mustache? Chem guy, how come your hair doesn't look red anymore? Chem guy got older. <laughs>